Well, let's start with some breaking news which is just coming in. Uttar Pradesh ATS has reportedly arrested a Bangladeshi terrorist from Muzaffar Nagar in the state. Now, the terrorist is associated with Ansarullah Bangla outfit in Bangladesh and was arranging for fake IDs for others is what has been reported. This is, of course, being seen as a major success for the anti-terror squad in Uttar Pradesh where they have gone ahead and arrested a Bangladeshi terrorist from Muzaffar Nagar within the state of Uttar Pradesh in India. Now, the terrorist is associated with Ansarullah Bangla outfit in Bangladesh and was reportedly arranging fake identity cards for others. And for more on this, we are joined by Saad Hamadi, the Bureau Chief from Bangladesh. Saad, what more information do we have on this? Sally, very little is known right now about Abdullah, the person who has been arrested in uh, Uttar Pradesh. But Ansar the Bangladesh team is a notorious terrorist outfit that has created much of a uh, terror in the country since uh, 2013. It's an outlaw group that the law enforcement agencies have cracked down heavily in Bangladesh. And uh, as a result of which, some of them have sought shelter in India in various parts where they have been conspiring and also uh, joining hands with other uh, terrorist groups in India as well, uh, which, which, which uh, pose a threat to the, the continental uh, uh, crime and terror that, that, is, uh, that is something that we see. Uh, Abdullah's role, as has been uh, described by the uh, authorities over there, does indicate that he has been uh, pro providing shelter to other Bangladeshis as well. In the recent uh, months and years, though, there has not been much of an activity of the Ansarullah Bangla team in Bangladesh, given that the law enforcement agencies have cracked down on them and have arrested many of their members. But it does indicate that uh, there, there, there are quite a few of them who have uh, fled the country and moved to India in various parts. Right, Saad, do continue to stay on with us. Meanwhile, we're also joined in by our political affairs editor, Karthike Sharma. Karthike, this, of course, will be seen as a major success for the ATS in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, it's an important success, but it also goes on to show that the terror has no boundary. And uh, UP, Bihar, in certain pockets, continue to be the fields where, uh, you know, people uh, create sleeper cells. So for ATS, it is, a, it is a matter of success, but it is a matter of concern that uh, despite the fact that you know concerted actions have been uh, you know t uh, you know uh, steps have been taken that uh, sleeper cells continue to uh, operate uh, in various parts of india and now it's not a localized issue that you know there are sleeper cells in this state or that state uh, it has become uh, a pan indian uh, uh, pan indian phenomena and secondly it is also a result of the porous borders it's very easy for someone from bangladesh to come mm -hmm. to india or from India to cross into Bangladesh. Uh, so, you know, what it really requires is because ultimately migration or immigration is caused by uh, economic opportunities also. Uh, what it really requires is effective screening of people. And, uh, I, and, I, and I think that the sort of uh, uh, the fingerprinting and the biometric uh, data which is being generated by the government Right. I think a step into that direction, Saleh. A step in the right direction. And also, Saleh, if I could come back to you, this, this person has been arrested, reportedly belongs to an outfit called Ansarullah Bangla. Very little about this outfit is actually known. If you could give us more details as to what exactly this outfit does and, and how has it operated within Bangladesh. Ansarullah Bangla team has been responsible for taking lives of many of the atheist bloggers who have identified themselves as atheists. But, but the, the bigger issue is that they have gone against the progress society in Bangladesh, the youth who have uh, uh, protested many of the actions of Islam and the radicalization in the country, as a result of which many bloggers have lost their lives. And, uh, and they had a pattern in their killing. The attacks that were carried out since early 2013 have played uh, a number of bloggers' lives as well as academicians and many of the others. Ansarullah Bangla team has uh, pledged his allegiance to the Al-Qaeda in the Indian continent and that's how they have been operating uh, throughout Bangladesh and now as, as has been reported, many of their members have also fled to uh, India in various parts, the West Bengal being one of the parts of lands where they have gone and sought refugees. Uh, Uttar Pradesh now has come out, as, as, a, as has been reported, uh, as one of the grounds that uh, these members have been operating from, so as to be under the radar. Absolutely, indeed. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, Saad Hamadi and also Karthikeya Sharma there.
for joining in and bringing those inputs. So this is, of course, a major success for the Uttar Pradesh. Eight years have gone ahead and nabbed this Bangladesh, Bangladeshi terrorist from Uttar Pradesh there.